Hi, my name is Chana Sheff and welcome to the Kosher Aliyah Cookie Network. In many of my baking videos, I sang kudos to my friend Sharon in Carrot Safer. Um, she revealed a secret to me on how to sift my flour using my hand sifter in a very quick manner. I'm going to reveal that secret to you very shortly. But before I do that, I just wanted to show you pictures of two of the sifters that you might find in the stores. The first picture is a sifter with large holes. That one is used for hummus, um, chickpeas, and for couscous and for rice. And the second sifter is the one that I use for my flour. So just when you go to the store, you'll know exactly what to look for. So I'm going to show you the secret. Uh, I just want to show you my sifter. Um, as you can see, there are some white spots over here. Um, those are spots where I got it wet. So just as a warning to you, you don't want to get your sifter wet because it makes whatever flour or particles are left inside um, stick to the netting. And you don't want to do that because it takes a little longer because there are less holes for the flour to go through. So just be careful, try to keep it as dry as possible. Okay, and now for the secret on how to sift your flour very quickly by hand. Um, it used to take me half an hour to sift one kilo of flour. Now I take two knives, two metal knives, and you're going to put them into your sifter, just like this. And you're going to put your flour in. And as you see here, I have a pair to have my bag. This is how I sift my flour all the time. I have a plastic bag here. It's a regular garbage bag. And I put my sifter into the bag, just like so. And I make sure that it hugs, I pull it tight because it hugs into the side of the bag. Okay, and I open up my bag of regular white flour. And I'm going to pour it in. And we're going to start sifting. Hold it tight the bag so it doesn't loosen up. And you're just going back and forth, and back and forth motion. And it takes about, I don't know, about three minutes to sift this bag of flour. And as it gets closer to the end of the whatever's left, yes, you can hear the knives going back and forth. It's kind of like a grinding motion, which makes the flour go through the holes much quicker. And I'm going to show you how it looks as it gets towards the end, okay? As you can see, you see the flour falling to the bottom of the bag as I do it. It's coming out. I'm going to further into here, the knocking of the knives together. Now, I don't know if you can see here, we're getting towards the end here. Um, I have very little flour left at the bottom, and I have my knives over here, still doing their work, and I'm still plugging the bag as I go, and you'll know that you're at the end, when all you have left is this amount, there's only nothing left, as you can see, just very little, there's some little pieces here, um, and it goes through very quickly. Okay, so that's basically how it works, and you have your flour in your bag, and I store my flour in my freezer so that it's nice and fresh, stays fluffy and bug free until the time that I'm ready to use it. Just as a side note, when I make to make dough or if I make challah, I like to take my flour out of the freezer about some 10 minutes before to bring it to room temperature. I find that when I put it into the recipe straight from the freezer, it makes the dough get very tough very quickly. Um, when you bring it to room temperature and you incorporate it, it ends up just um, mixing up much better and making a finer and smoother dough. So just for yourself to know. Anyway, I hope that this helps. Um, of course, if you have an electric sifter, that's also one quick way to sift your flour. But if you have no choice but to use the hand one like I do, um, here is your favorite safer trick. Two little knives does all the work for you. Hope this helps, and um, hope you can go ahead and get baking together. Have a great day.